Alrighty guys, Sanyan slash Ichigo Kongo here today, and uh, today I have an unboxing for you guys. It's a Gun Age Gundam legless, legless from Bandai. It's a high grade Gundam model. Um, it's a 144 scale as you can see here, and uh, we got some nice box art of him using his bits, which is pretty cool. Nice box art there. Got the little Gundam design right there, showing that's from Gundam Age. This side of the box shows fun to build gunpla. And we got some stances here from front and back. Looking pretty nice with his uh, beam. With his, uh, whatchamacallit, what is it called? Got the bit shield there, or wigless shield. <laughs> it's got his beam buster right there, and the beam cannon tail of his. And what is that showing there? I'm not quite sure what it's showing, but whatever. Something twist. <laughs> got a nice little stance there. Got some action from showing off bits and the changing eyes of his and Gundam mode thing of dragoness like type thing <laughs> that a body <laughs> and the action pose there so the box just the same as the front just a little smaller this side shows details and data of the Gundam and uh, as you know the uh, legless was developed by Wagon built from the H3 orbital and the data of the EXADB. And, um, yeah. <laughs> there it is, fighting the pirates. And another on a stand. Pieces and such. And as you can see here, it's going for 1,500 yen. And uh, some warning labels there. And um, let's open up the box. Straight out of the box. We're gonna get. Da, da, da. Put this on the stand thingy. Okay. Or not. Put it off, alas. Yes, works. Funders. <laughs> and as you get a nice colored booklet here. Probably get it all on screen, maybe. So we got some colors here, some of the pilots, some details. And we got the back, colored information of doing other things there. And the middle page shows um, the weapon, armaments, poses, front and rear again. Got that guy. <laughs> And we got some mechanisms. So how does that weird dragon thing? <laughs> so I haven't watched all the age yet. I'm kind of getting there, but yeah. So we got the weapons there. Another awesome action pose. So that, and we got the R version there for age. Don't know why he's there at that. Inside is black and white, as you can see. Just one page, not bad, since this is a 144 scale. Can't try and run away. Anyways, we got some blue pieces there, we got some shield pieces, we got some poly caps there. So there's three runners there. We got the vents for his high speed. That. And there's some other pieces there, yellow and white. We're up to six runners now. So we got some clear yellow, greenish beam sabers there. <clears throat> got some decals and some more white and black, mostly in frame and such. So Three, five, 
and nine. So we have nine runners all together in this kit. So that's not that bad. So anyways, I'm gonna get started on this, and um, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I guess I want to cut B, which I really don't want to, because he does a really good, a lot better job than I do. But I'm gonna try and copy uh, Vegeta V259 of his uh, before and after. So I'm gonna build this kit and not put any stickers on it. And then I'm gonna put all stickers and paint it up and do a second review and my final thoughts of the kit. I don't know. I'll maybe I'll just do one review of it just there. But that will take me a while. So, anyways. Let you guys go. Have fun. Have a nice day building some gunpla. And uh, Sonya Yan signing out. Sayonara. Meow.